So guys, in the last video we saw that we will need one graph or one diagram, set of diagram for each substance, which is not that useful. But if we were to apply this law of corresponding states, which states that all fluids, when compared at the same reduced temperature, so that's important, reduced temperature, probably you are wondering what's reduced temperature, you have no idea, go and check out the playlist or the course because I got many videos on reduced properties and so on and the reduced pressure are going to uh, behave approximately the same or at least with respect with the compressibility factor what is that? that if we want to reduce all these substances so we get TR of one substance and TR of other substance we will be able to correlate or compare them directly and not only that, we will be able to use one chart even though we're using two substances. Essentially, this law of corresponding states says or states that they all deviate from the ideal gas behavior on the same degree. So what is this? If you are using reduced properties, let's say this is CH4, at this temperature and pressure. Then you're going to find out that NH3 ammonia also deviates with that temperature and property, uh, pressure. Look, look how they deviate the same. So that's a lot of theory. Just get used that for any substance, let's say they got these reduced temperatures and then they use different substances. Green one is methane, blue one is ethylene, black one is ethane. And they see that when they speak about reduced temperatures and reduced pressures, they all behave exactly the same. You use, let's say, TR of one of substance, let's say methane and ethylene. You check it out and they deviate exactly the same or very, very similar. And that's awesome because instead of using many charts and many diagrams for each one of these substances, we're going to be able to use one master chart and be able to correlate with these substances. And then I present you the compressibility chart, which is generalized for each substance. Uh, but I think I will show you in the next video. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you liked the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.